Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Zix. I'm bringing you guys a new video here today. Today we're going to be using the Jet Black Turtle Wax set that I bought in a previous video. I don't know if you guys watched it or not. I'll show a little preview of what the box looks like and then uh, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to give you a little preview of how the paint looks before and then at the end you'll get to see how it turns out afterwards. This is specifically meant for black paint. Let me just show you guys right now. Alrighty guys, so we got the Turtle Wax Jet Black Black Box Finish Kit. What this is supposed to do, it's supposed to take away little like streaks and scratches and stuff from the actual paint itself, specifically meant for black paint. And uh, if you guys didn't know, that's what my BRZ is, obviously. Hopefully it shows that way and not like a different color. But you guys can tell there's a couple of little imperfections in the paint. Um, a lot of swirl marks, a lot of uh, minor little details that only if you look really close you can tell. But me being the person that I am, I am very particular in what I like to see. And uh, you know, I don't like to see any of the minor scratches going on in the paint and stuff. Let me see if I can focus a little bit better. Get a better, get a better view. So right there you can see all those little minor scratches and the imperfections in the paint. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead, open this box up, show you guys everything that it comes with. I bought two new applicator pads just in case the two that that packet comes with aren't enough. And uh, I'll be taking it panel for panel on this car and making sure I get every single little nick and scratch as good as I can. This is what it's supposed to do, is protect the paint and kind of reseal it a little bit. It's not supposed to leave it absolutely perfect, but damn near close. So we're gonna give it a shot and hopefully this turns out Pretty dope. So let's get right into it, guys. So I ripped off the top just to make it a little bit easier and more accessible. So here's the applicator pads that it comes with. Pretty spongy, very nice. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use these that it comes with. It comes with quite a lot of stuff. Uh, step two, looks like there's a bunch of different steps. Now I have never opened this box. There's a little sprayer. Um, I take it that that's what you're supposed to attach. The black spray. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of lay them all out right here for you guys. This is a pre-wax cleaner and then the black carnaba, I don't know how you say that, the black carnaba wax. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name, but anyway, step one, step two, obviously this one being step one, it's gonna clean everything I take it and step two is gonna go ahead and just finish waxing it and that should be the detailer just to keep it all clean and finish everything off. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and read the instructions on both of these thoroughly and hopefully we understand it pretty well and then get you guys all set up and start to work on the car. Okay, so for step one, it's gonna be shake well, use gloves if hands are sensitive, um, pour onto applicator and apply to vehicle one section at a time using a back and forth motion and let dry to a haze. So this is gonna be for step number one. And then step two, same concept, apply to an applicator, and then uh, go ahead and use back and forth motion, and then let dry to a haze. And then I take it that the last final step, black spray detailer, remove cap, and replace with spray pump, which is the spray pump that it came with. Shake well, lightly mist black spray detailer onto folded microfiber towel or onto surface to help remove steps one and two. Use a clean microfiber towel and black spray detailer for a final wipe of each section to enhance the finish. So pretty much it's one, two, and then step three to finally finish it, polish it, all this stuff off. Um, that's why I guess it takes it to let dry to a haze, um, both of these, and then I bet this is supposed to make it just enhance and really sharpen up the black and the paint. With that being said, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys set up and start with step one. Hopefully this doesn't take long, but uh, if it does, sit back and enjoy. Alrighty guys, so that is step one fully done. We got it all taken care of. It's all drying right now. It should all look somewhat hazy like this right here. Um, the hood's not quite there, but for the most part, I mean, everything else ended up uh, drying out fairly well. So we got the full car coated and done with step one. Now we're gonna have to wait till this dries off a little bit and then go ahead and apply step two. Alrighty guys, so step one, just dry it as much as possible. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start step two. Fresh pair of gloves, let's get it. 
Also something I learned guys with the other applicator pads, they're a little bit smaller. This one I feel like covers more surface areas. And also I've learned that putting multiple dots like that all around and then dapping it on the paint before you actually start to go back and forth helps it a lot to applicate a lot better and cover more surface area. All right, guys, so your boy made a mistake. So the mistake at hand here was you're actually supposed to put the pre-wax cleaner on the car and applicate it to the whole car. And then you're supposed to actually take this uh, black spray detailer, mist it on with this sprayer right here, and then clean it off or with the microfiber rag until the whole car is cleaned off of the pre-wax. Then you're supposed to you know, apply the black carnival wax and then you're supposed to use the spray again. So that's why there's two bottles here. Um, you're supposed to just mist on this after, after step one and after step two and I didn't catch that. And I ended up applying step one and step two together on the car. So lesson learned for sure. But um, I'm just gonna finish it up and uh, see how it turns out. Hopefully the, the wax was still able to grab something and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up guys and see how it turns out. So to be completely honest with you guys, the turnout seems to be coming out really nice. As you can tell from the bumper to the actual hood, you can see much shinier on the hood and the bumper is still kind of hazy because I have yet to actually, you know, do the detailing and wipe the excess off. So uh, honestly, I think it'll do the trick. I don't think it's a, such a bad thing that I put two of them together, but just next time for even better results, I should be following uh, instructions. I should have read a little bit more thoroughly. I thought I did, but I guess I did. It's all good, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up guys and then uh, we'll go ahead and close out the video for y'all. Hopefully it was helpful information for you guys if you guys are gonna try this on your own car and uh, hopefully you guys don't make the mistake that I did. So uh, just a little just a little hiccup but no biggie. We'll, we'll get it all done, it's all good. Alrighty guys, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. A lot of these swirls and stuff were able to come out. A lot of the imperfections on the paint were actually able to come out just with as you can tell, it just shines a whole lot more. The glitter on the side and everything just shines so much more. It feels super silky smooth. It's like, you know, it's amazing how far this stuff can go. It really, really makes a difference. So if you didn't tell the before, I showed you the same spot. There was swirl marks and everything. And now it's actually really cleared off, which is really nice. You can really, really see the paint. There you have it, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for the Jet Black Box from Turtle Wax. This stuff is honestly pretty cool. Um, I've never been a big like crazy fan of like waxing cars and stuff like that. That did take a little while. It took me about an hour, hour and a half to get it all fully applicated. And that was because I messed up a little bit of the steps. So it might've taken, yeah, roughly an hour and a half to two hours if I would have done it correctly the first time. But uh, that's okay. It's uh, still was super well worth it. And honestly, I couldn't have been happier for the turnout. It turned out amazing, guys. You guys should definitely give this a shot. If you guys have any black cars, black uh, black truck, a black SUV, um, this just works perfect for the for the black paint on your car. It took out a lot of those swirl marks, like I said, without having to use a buffer or anything crazy. Just a couple of applicator pads going back and forth, and um, that's it. And two microfiber rags. So literally, use four applicators and two microfiber rags, and that did the job for me literally like a 20 or 30 dollar box something like that their products have been really doing me well like i said i i might be trying out new things the farther these videos go and if you guys did like this video drop a comment if you guys liked how long it was if you guys still prefer shorter videos let me know that as well down in the comments below guys thank you so much for tuning in every single time i post i really appreciate every single one of you guys um you know, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers again. This has been an amazing journey thus far and I'm gonna keep going strong. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the edits and everything else. And if you guys really wanna give this a shot, I'll leave a link down in the description below as always guys for all their products as well. And uh, 
yeah, have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. And uh, guys, it's been true. Thank you so much. Peace out.